It's no secret Arkansas really struggled the beginning of this season. That loss to Toledo still stings. But Brett Bielma's team has got a chance to get back to 500 against Tennessee Martin this weekend. But one concern for the Razorbacks, the running back depth is getting really thin. Raleigh Williams, he suffered a season-ending injury last week. You combine that with the injury to Jonathan Williams and Arkansas looked like they had three good running backs. They're probably down to one right now. It's going to be a lot of pressure on Alex Collins. A lot of people in the SEC West right now have to be rooting for Ole Miss to lose somewhere along the way. Ole Miss still controls their destiny in the division. The Rebels go to Auburn this weekend. This looks like a bad matchup for Auburn. Auburn is 12th right now in the SEC in offense. But at 4-3, and three, they are desperate. They need this win. They've got tough games coming up. And if they really want to get to a bowl game this season, they may have to get it done this weekend. Tennessee and Kentucky is a big rivalry, but it's been a pretty one-sided rivalry. Tennessee's won 28 out of the last 29 meetings, and I don't think it's going to change much this year. The Vols, they're only 3-4, and four, but they may be the best 3-4 and four team in the country right now. You look at all the statistical analyses, they've played better than their record. Kentucky, they're still looking for that first signature win at Mississippi State. They lost 42-16 to last week. If they want to get to a bowl game, they need to perform a whole lot better than that. One of the reasons John Chavis left LSU to become Texas A&M's defensive coordinator is he wanted to work for an offense that could actually score him some points, give him some leads to protect. That hasn't really happened though this year for Texas A&M. This weekend, though, they stepped down in weight class, shouldn't have any problem with the struggling South Carolina team, although interim coach Sean Elliott has brought some energy, and you would expect South Carolina to fight. They just don't have the talent to win this game. Florida, Georgia, the world's largest outdoor cocktail party, always one of the biggest games of the year. Huge stakes. Florida can pretty much clinch the SEC East title for Georgia. If they win, it changes the entire outlook for them in the last four games of the season. Both teams are coming off bye weeks. I think you've really got to have some concern for Georgia. However, their offense has looked very shaky without Nick Chubb, who went down early in that Tennessee game. And they're playing against a top 20 Florida defense that gives up fewer than 320 yards per game.